Thank you very much for the introduction. Hello, my name is Se Hun Jung from Korea University. Today I will talk about learning context sensitivity heuristics from Codebase. Uh, this is a joint work with Min Seok Jung, co first author, and Song Dok Cha, and Hak Ju Oh. Building a static analyzer can be seen as a pure mathematical work. However, making a practical one requires many heuristics. For example, we all agree that context sensitivity, uh, context sensitivity makes analysis precise, but we also agree that all method calls are not equally important. Soundness has a similar situation. Many real-world static bug finders pursue scalability and accuracy at the same time. To win this race, Selective unsoundness strategy is very important. Problem is, even for experts, making good heuristic is not an easy task. Our answer to the pain point is running good heuristics from code base. By doing so, heuristic generation process can be, at least mostly, automated. And the run heuristic can be powerful and stable because although machines don't have deep insights as humans, they diligently and systematically find good solutions across training data. Today, I will focus on context sensitivity. Let's see this example code. In this code, the method main called method m twice, and method m called identity function id1 twice and dummy function. And lastly, id1 function called another identity function id2. There are two casting queries here and here, and as you can see, they are safe. However, chip context insensitive analysis results in two Mayfay testing alarms. This analysis merges two ID1 invocations inside the method, method M. As a result, it concludes that the method ID1 can return either E or D type object at the same time. On the other hand, two call size sensitive analysis nicely separates two ID1 invocations and two ID2 invocations using call site information. As a result, it proves all queries. However, it wastes the resources to maintain, blindly maintain call site information for the other methods, such as M and dummy, which are not important in this example. Our selective two call size sensitive analysis equips a heuristic which assign context steps to each method. As a result, it can prove all queries without wasting resources. Key question is, who decides such heuristic before, analy before we analyze the code? Our answer is data-driven approach. In this paper, we introduce a data-driven framework for automatically learning context sensitivity heuristic <coughs> from code base. Our framework takes three main inputs. First, parametric static analyzer, and programs as a training data, and atomic features about method definition. The atomic features describe syntactic characteristics of method, such as the kind of statement it has or which class it belongs to. We define 25 of them. Then, our framework runs good heuristics in disjunctive normal form Boolean formula. In this case, the <coughs> two hybrid object sensitivity. Those numbers mean atomic features, and you can see the, here the conjunctions and disjunctions and negations. This example means if a method M has feature 1 and not 3 and not 6 and so on, each invocation gets two context steps. Otherwise, if a method satisfies one of those four conditions, each invocation gets depth 1 context. Remaining methods who don't belong to any of these formulas get uh, any of these formulas are analyzed in context-insensitive way. This slide highlights how the run, how the run heuristic performs. We implemented our approach on top of Duke Java point to analysis framework, and we used the couple benchmark for training and testing, and measured the time taken and number of Mayfair testing alarms. As you can see, hybrid two object sensitive analysis plus our heuristic cost as, much, as small as context insensitive analysis, while it keeps the most of the precision of original analysis. And when compared to the existing heuristics introduced in 2014 PLDI, ours performed better overall performance. 
Now I will explain details of our approach. Our approach consists of two main parts. First, parametric disjunctive heuristic. The context sensitivity heuristic is parameterized by pi, a list of, dis a list of disjunctive normal form Boolean formula. That means a good parameter makes a good heuristic, which in turn makes precise and scalable static analyzer. Second, the learning algorithm for the parameter completes our approach. We design an iterative refinement style learning algorithm. <coughs> in our research, we assume that static analyzer F is parameterized directly in terms of context, in context, context sensitivity abstraction and results a set of proven queries and time taken. A context, sensitive, a context sensitivity abstraction is defined as a mapping between method in P and one of context steps 0 to K. For example, this is an instance of a context insensitive analysis, and this is the family of a two context sensitive analysis. From now on, I will use H to denote our, disjunctive, uh, our parametric disjunctive heuristics. The parametric disjunctive heuristic H works in two steps. First, predefined atomic features are used to extract the feature set from method. And second, a decision-making procedure assigns a context step to each method according to their feature set. Let's see the, for let's see the feature extraction part first. An atomic feature is a predicate over method definition. We defined 25 of them. And there are two kinds of features, signature features and statement features. Signature feature is an asking if a method has a specific token in its signature string. We don't care where the token is appeared in the signature, signature string. Statement feature is an asking if a method has a specific kind of a statement in its body. Given the atomic features, the feature extraction process is straightforward. All we have to do is applying atomic features to method. In this example, method M1 has atomic feature A1, and method M2 has A2, and method M3 had A3 and A4. Now we can talk about how heuristic H and its parameter pi work together. The parameter pi is a list of disjunctive normal form Boolean formula. For two context sensitive analysis, we need two Boolean formulas, F1 and F2. Each Boolean formula stands for one context step. If a method satisfies FK, each, uh, each invocation gets K context steps. Applying pi to the extracted feature set result this initial decision. The method M1 satisfied F2, and method M2 and M1 satisfied F1. As you can see, there is a conflict. Method M1 belongs to both of F2 and F1. In such case, we simply, pre we simply prior deeper context, in this case F2, because it makes the heuristic more precise. And those who don't belong to any of these formulas, in this example M3, get zero, which means context insensitive analysis. Final result is a context sensitivity abstraction. Now I will talk about second part of our approach, learning those parameters. Main challenge of learning effective parameter is a such space. One might think of popular off-the-shelf learning algorithms such as ID3 decision tree, but we don't have a labeled data set. Therefore, we designed an iterative refinement style learning algorithm with efficiency in mind. First, we defined, first we defined such a problem as an optimization problem. We want to find a best set of parameters F1 through Fk that minimize analysis cost while it makes analysis to prove most of the queries that can be proven by conventional K context sensitive analysis. However, again, it's such a space is intractable. If we say S to be a set of possible Boolean formula, the such space of parameter pi becomes the size of S and size of S to the power of power to the K. We were, able to the, we were able to reduce the such space by learning one Boolean formula at a time. In our approach, a sequence of learning is very important. First, we run the deepest context formula Fk while the other formulas are set to true. After running Fk, we move on to the next deepest context 
we move on to the next diffusive formula fk minus one while having the fk while having the Lund formula fk in the parameter. We repeat same steps all the way down to f2 and f1. Now we have a parameter pi. Such space of our approach is k times of size of s, which is much smaller than the original problem so on. Remaining question is how to run this Boolean formula. From this slide, I will show you how we run single Boolean formula f with a complete example. I have a full complete iteration in this slide, so please bear with me. Suppose that we have two atomic features, A1 and A2. The algorithm begins with the most general formula, which is the disjunction of all atomic features and its negations. We have a performance table to track precision and cost of each atomic features and class is in current formula. This can be obtained by calling static analyzers with each item as a curiosity. We have a work set W. We have a work set W to track definable classes in current formula. And finally, our goal is learning Boolean formula F that makes analysis to prove all queries Q1 to Q4 by gradually adding constraints to this initial formula. First, we need to pick a clause to add a constraint. Individual cost of each clause is a main decision factor for this step, because we assume that the cost of a clause becomes expensive when it makes analysis to apply deeper context to more methods. In this example, A1 had cost of 20. Then we remove, then we remove the chosen clause from the work set. Define the clause conservatively, since the atomic feature A2 proves the most of probable query that A1, so we conjoin atomic feature A1 with the A2. Then we check the refined formula's precision. In this case, the formula precision true, as you can see, <coughs> therefore it proves all queries. Then we check the whether the formula is semantically refined. In this case, the answer is no because the refined formula is a subset of existing clause. In this case, we drop the refined clause. <coughs> this is the end of the first iteration. Since the work set is not empty, we need another round. Again, we pick, we pick the most expensive clause, in this case, A2. Then we remove the clause from the work set. Then the refine the clause conservatively. In this case, A1 is chosen. And the refined formula still proves all queries. But this time, the refinement result semantically different formula. In this case, we add the refined clause to the performance table and the work set. This is the end of the second iteration. Let's see another iteration for the opposite scenario. I will skip some redundant details from now on. We pick the most expensive clause and remove the clause from the work set, and we refine the clause conservatively. In this case, this implies false. This implies false. So check whether the formula satisfies precision goal, then the refinement failed to prove all queries. We missed a query Q3. In that case, we pull back to the last state. This is the end of the third, third iteration. Let's skip to the last iteration. We have only one item in the work set. Then we pick the most expensive clause in the work set because we have only one item in the work set. The choice is obvious. Then we, when we, we remove the clause from the work set, and we try to refine the clause conservatively. And we check the precision of the defined formula. And in this case, we also fail to prove all queries. Then we pull back to the last state. Finally, we have no item to refine further. The algorithm returns Boolean formula we run. Now I'm going to introduce the experiment in detail. We implemented our approach on top of two Java point to analysis framework. 
Our experiment focused on Mayfair testing analysis. However, it can be applied to any client. We run the heuristic for four different kinds of context sensitivities, two hybrid object sensitivity, two object sensitivity, two type sensitivity, and two core size sensitivities. For the behalf of human tuned heuristics, we use introspective analysis. Yanis Smaldakis et al. introduced this technique in 2014 PLDI paper. Lastly, we use Takap benchmark for training and testing. We use four, four smaller benchmarks for training and five larger benchmarks for testing. From the experiment, we want to answer those three questions, but I will skip this slide. These graphs show the case of selective two hybrid object sensitivity. We have a time taken on y axis and the Mayfair testing alarm for x axis. Our data driven approach costs as small as a context insensitive analysis, while it enjoying the most of precision of con while enjoying most of precision of original analysis. In addition, we'd like to highlight its consistency when compared to the human tuned heuristics. The second research question is about adequacy of, adequacy of our distinctive model. To answer this, we implemented a linear version of our heuristic for comparison. I will skip some details about linear version of our heuristics. Then, we trained the two models with the same training program and time budget. Testing results show that our distinctive, our distinctive heuristic outperformed the linear one in, term, in terms of both precision and total cost. Lastly, I will finish this section with introducing two interesting learning results. First, our learning algorithm revealed precision order between object and time sensitivities. Time sensitivity is an abstracted version of object sensitivity by definition. If a method gets benefit from type sensitivity, it also gets benefit from object sensitivity. However, the reverse is not true. Keep that in mind, let's look at the learned formulas. Here, we have two F1 formula from selective two object sensitivity and two type sensitivity. As you can see, two highlighted, two highlighted, uh, two highlighted clauses are identical except the one additional atom in type sensitivity. Therefore, this one is a subset of this one. This observation is consistent with the relationship between two, sen two sensitivities, as I mentioned. Yeah, I will skip this slide for and now conclusion, I'd like to summarize this talk. In this talk, we introduced a heuristic rule for context sensitivity, which is parameterized by Boolean formula. And we show that good parameters for the heuristic can be learned from carefully designed learning algorithm. We implemented our approach on top of two top of point analysis framework and demonstrate that the learned heuristic can make context sensitive analysis precise and scalable. Thank you.